Nonito Donaire and the Oya Inuit just finished a couple of minutes ago in my inbox personal message here on YouTube and on Instagram is blowing up telling me from a lot of fans that they feel that this fight was a robbery. First let's get to the fight a little bit. In the second round Inoue was cut by a left hook from Donaire. Fast forward Inoue was almost dropped in round number 5 by Nonito Donaire who was pressing the action in the fight but yet Noaya Inoue was not really backing up. He had a nasty cut and he was bleeding a lot but he kept coming forward and meeting Donaire shot for shot. It was a very good bout. If you haven't seen it, get a chance to see it. This is just a post-fight review. Fast forward to round number 11. On a body shot, Nonito Donaire gets stung, runs around the ring, finally takes a knee, gets back up at the counter nine, takes a beating by Inoue, does not give up, bites down his mouth guard, and keeps fighting. Donaire showed a lot of heart in round number 11. Maybe one of the best bantamweight rounds of 2019. Round number 12. Round number 12. 36-year-old Nonito Donaire gave his all. But still could not win the bout. Now on to the official scorecards. First, Robert Hoyle had it 113-114. And that's including... The knockdown in round number 11. Next, Luigi Boscarelli had it 116 111. And finally, Octavio Rodriguez, who is of Panama and has been judging since 1980, had this bout 117 to 109, meaning he did not give one round to Nonito Donair at all. When the other two judges, if Donaire didn't go down in the fight, possibly could have won on one card and drew on the other. This fight could have been a draw if Donaire did not go down in round number 11. But he did. They scored it correctly in my opinion. But the 117-109 was ridiculous. If you ask me if this fight was a robbery, no, I don't feel it was a robbery at all. I do feel two of the judges' cards are just. The third card is complete bullshit. And I also feel that, no, no, that Nonito Donaire is probably, has to be the top three or top two greatest Filipino boxers of all time. And it's not certain now if he's going to retire because after the fight, he uncharacteristically left the ring with his crew and did not give a post-fight interview.